Hi, I am Dr. N. Monoj Kumar, Department of Genetic Engineering, School of Bioengineering, SRM Institute of Science and Technology. I welcome you uh, all to the Bioprocess Principal Lab. Today we are going to discuss about the black and permanent design to optimize the medium. So the aim of this experiment is to perform the minimum number of the experiments to determine the optimal conditions. So in case of classical method, so we are involving the change in the one independent variable while fixing all other things at any level. Say for example, you have a n number of variables, glucose, yeast extract, beef extract or something. So the concentration of the one variable will be, will be fixed and other variables will be changing. So this will take time and it is expensive and also it requires a large number of experiments. For example, if you see here x power m, where x is the number of levels and n is the number of variables. So levels, two levels, highest level, lowest level. So the variables are three. So eight experiment means we can perform. But you see here three levels, six variables. So 729 trials, 729 experiment is very difficult to perform. So we opt for the black and permanent design. So this technique allows some evaluation, some rules are there. So that will be the x minus one variable for x experiments and the x must be multiples of four. So x is the experiments, x, where x minus one not the variable. For example, eight experiments you have to conduct means seven variables. So the x must be multiples of 4, that means the experiments must be multiples of 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, etc. So this is the design table for black and Bergman. We have the 7 variables, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we have the trial 8 experiments. So x minus 1 variable for x experiments here. So if you have only 5 variables, so to balance that, we can keep the variables which is not designated that has a dummy variables. The dummy variables does not have any effect. So that is also used to find out the experimental error. Okay, now in this table, so the highest value and lowest value of each variable A, B, C, D, E, F, G is arranged here. That means four highest value and in the vertical and the four lowest value for the A in the vertical. So for similarly it will for the B, C, D, E, F and G. There will be four highest value and four lowest value. So the first trial will be the combination of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. In this we have to conduct the experiment and we have to check whether it will improve the product or the biomass. So the same we have to perform for each experiment in this combination whatever provided in the table for highest and lowest values. So here in our experiment the medium variables we took seven variables. So we are going to perform the eight experiment. So the A is glucose, yeast extract, sodium chloride, peptone, uh, potassium dihydrogen and phosphate, glycine and nutrition sulfate, each assigned as a variable A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So the lowest value is 0 0.5 and highest value is 4. Correspondingly we have put the lowest and highest value for each variable. So now what we are going to do is, in this table where are the highest value for A, A is the glucose. The highest value means we have to fill here 4. Lowest value means we have to fill here 0.5. Similarly, we have to fill this table with this value of highest and lowest value of each variables. Then we have to addition in this table. We have to summate the highest value of A and summate the highest lowest value of A. Similarly, we have to do for all and we have to take the difference effect mean square and F test by that we will find the which one is the showing the which one is the important variable for this experiment. So now I will change this value in this table. I will put this value in this table and we will calculate this. The calculation part I will explain. So as per the table it was mentioned as highest and lowest value for each variable A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Four highest value and four lowest value. So according to this table the lowest value is 0.5 and highest value is 4 for the A. So we fill the where the highest value we fill 4 and where are the, where are the lowest value we fill the 0.5. Similarly we fill for everything, all the variables. Now we have to go to this table. Here they have, we have to submit the highest values of A and we have to put the value here. Similarly for uh, highest value of B, uh, summation of highest value of B, C, D, E, F, G. Similarly we have to submit the lowest value for all because 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5. Here the answer will be like that we have to submit the lowest value for all. Then we have to find out the difference between sigma h minus sigma l and we have to find out the effect mean square and the test. For calculating this we have the formula. We will write the formula directly. 
So the formula for sigma h is summation of all the highest value of a. So 4, 4, 4, 4. It will be 16. Similarly for b, c, d, e, f, and g. For sigma l, all summation of the low values, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So it will be 2. Here also 2. So if you summate the b here, it will come as 2. For c, the lowest value will be, addition will be, it will be 0.4 and uh, it will go so on. So the difference effect, the formula is for a only, sigma ah minus sigma al divided by 4. This is for the a variable only. Similarly, you have to do for b, c, d, e, f, and g. So you will get the difference effect value if you apply this formula. That is subtraction of summation of highest value and lowest value divided by 4 will give you 24.5. Sorry, 3.5, 3.5, 0.9, 3.5, 3.5, 0.99, and 0.45. Then, mean square. We have to take the mean square for this. So, mean square is summation sigma ah minus sigma al whole square divided by a. If you apply this formula, this is for a, a only. Similarly, you have to calculate for b, c, d, e, f, and g. So, you will get the values accordingly. Then, we have to calculate the mean square error. So, already I said, we have to keep the dummy variable if the variable is not assigned. Here in this table, E and G are considered as a dummy variable. So, the formula for that is mean square error is sigma mean square of dummy variables divided by number of dummy variables. We have two dummy variables. The, so, the mean square of the dummy variable E is 24.5 and G is 0 0.405. So, we have to add that and divided by 2. There are two dummy variables. So we will get the value of 12.45. That is the answer for this term. This means where there is 12.45. Okay. So summation of this. Then F test. F test formula is factor mean square by error mean square. Factor mean square is 24.5. Error mean square value is 12.45. So for each variable A, B, C, D, F. We have to leave the E and G because they are dummy variables. So we have to find out A, B, C, D, and F. They are the actual variable. For that, we have to calculate the factor mean square by error mean square we have taken. So, we will get, get some values. So, based upon the value is 1 1.967, 1.967, 0.13, 1.967, and 0 0.1574. For dummy variables, we are not calculating. So, by this, we can rank which variable is very important for this. So, one point, so A variable, B, and D are most important variables since they are showing the same values. So, without that, the, uh, the uh, it won't be an optimized media to produce the maximized product. So these three variables are very important. And uh, the second important is F, and third, uh, the uh, third one is point one uh, C. Okay. So according to we can rank. So according to the values we can rank. So this is about this. Then what we have to do? We have to conduct the experiment. So this uh, trial one, trial two. According to this concentration, we have to put it in the vertical class and we have to run the uh, fermentation, then the yield, biomass yield we have to calculate. So, among the 8 experiments, which run gives the maximum yield, that is the optimized yield. Here, we are going to perform placard Berman methodology for medium optimization. We have 8 sets of conical flask to perform 8 experiments for 7 variables, say from A to G that we already so, so each independent variable or in different combination in all the eight sets of conical flask. Now, first what we have to do, we have to take one ml of the sample from the each conical flask and drop it in the epon rough tube that will be the blank. So we have to keep it in calorimeter and set the uh, to calibrate it to zero. So likewise we have to do take the one ml of a sample before uh, uh, the inoculation of microbe we have to drop it in the epon rough tube all the epon rough tube will be the blank for the corresponding experiment then we have to take the culture overnight uh, grown e coli culture then we have to drop it in each conical flask say from 1 to 8 So likewise, we have to add the E. coli culture in all the conical flask 1 ml. Then the 0th hour reading we have to take. So immediately after dropping the 
culture we have to take the 1 ml of sample from the the micro inoculated flask into each open draft tube that also numbered as 128 then after that we have to take all the conical flask and keep it in the incubator shaker for fermentation meanwhile we will measure the od for the zeroth time for that we have to take the control that is before inoculum we have to take the sample and calibrate the the calorimeter to zero then we have to check the zeroth hour uh, the concentration using the calorimeter so here we are taking the one ml of sample from the uh, open draft tube which which is not inoculated so that will be acts as a control then we have to calibrate it it will be zero then we are taking the the zero hour from each open draft tube which contains the particular experiment so so this reading also showing the zero so after 2 hours that is after incubation we have to take all the conical flask out and we have to again keep this in the laminar air flow so before hepa filter we have to measure the od values of uh, the each experiment that is after 2 hours of incubation so we have to take one ml of sample from each conical flask likewise we have to take for the from the sample from the all conical flasks then we have to measure the od for the two hour incubated sample for this also we have to keep the the sample without inoculum to calibrate the instrument so this sample is before inoculation so that what we did for the zero hour the same sample we are taking and calibrating it to zero now we are taking the after two hour incubation sample then we are measuring the od value for that so as per this table we have conducted the experiment eight experiments and the od value was measured so in this this point 96 shows the highest od value which means that the run number 4 which have the highest value of a and the lowest value of b and the lowest value of c and highest value of d highest value of e and highest value of f and lowest value of g in this combination it is giving the highest od so we are finding the which one which optimize the media uh, in this uh, small number of experiments Okay, so that's all about the black and purple design. Thank you.